You know how some people say go big or go home? Turns out that might also apply to tires. Except sometimes going big means you hydroplane through every puddle and your car gulps gas like there's no tomorrow. But go too narrow and your ride might get so bumpy you'll feel like you've got built-in massager seats. So which size should you consider? Well, actually, it's simpler than you think. And it all comes down to the contact patch. Now this is where the rubber meets the road, literally. Think of it like your car's footprint. A wider tire leaves a bigger, shorter footprint on the pavement while a narrow tire spreads out longer and slimmer. That's why wider tires provide your vehicle with a stronger foundation due to their increased side-to-side -side grip and contact patch. The result? You get better lateral traction and improved directional control. Basically, with greater amount of rubber touching the road from one side to the other of the tire, you feel more planted and anchored. Which is also the reason why you get a relatively smoother and more comfortable ride with wider tires. Plus, as these tires dissipate heat more effectively and often run cooler, they generally make better summer tires. On the other hand, narrower tires with their elongated contact patch facilitate easier rolling in each direction. This reduces friction and aerodynamic drag leading to better fuel economy and longer thread life. So these tires are not only cheaper and lighter because they use less material, but they also continue to provide savings in the long run. Another good thing about narrower tires is that their pizza cutter design allows them to cut through water and snow better. Wider tires have to push more water out of the way and if the thread isn't designed for that, they can lose contact with the road more easily. Narrow tires, however, are less prone to this issue as the smaller side-to-side -side footprint often channels water away more easily. Similarly, in snowy and icy conditions, a narrow tire can dig through that soft surface more effectively, reaching firmer ground beneath, aiding forward momentum. Now, this also holds true when it comes to muddy trains. The theory is that they can cut through the top layer of mud to reach more solid ground underneath where they can find traction. This is usually effective in less viscous, more watery mud. But yes, it's not accurate to claim that narrow tires are universally superior for all soft terrains. The thing is, wider tires with larger surface area helps distribute the vehicle's weight more evenly, reducing the chance of sinking into soft, muddy, and sandy terrain. This is often referred to as flotation because the tire helps the vehicle stay on top of the mud, sand, and snow rather than cutting into it. Now, flotation goes hand in hand with air pressure, since lowering it increases grip, especially off-road. In case of narrow tires, lowering air pressure makes their contact patch even longer, improving grip on hard surfaces like rocks. And for wider tires, reducing air pressure expands the footprint sideways, enhancing flotation further in all sorts of soft terrains. So, with wider tires, distributing weight better and lowering downward force, they're a great fit for trucks and heavy vehicles. But yes, I should add that for lighter sports cars, wider tires lowering that downward force also reduces grip at high speeds. So, to keep these cars from becoming airplanes and flying off during high-speed turns, they rely on aerodynamic designs that generate downforce, or as they say, negative lift, pushing the car onto the road for maximum traction. Now, if you're thinking about switching between wide and narrow tires, there's one more thing to keep in mind, aspect ratio. Changing tire width can affect your speedometer accuracy and in some cases, you might even need new wheels to fit the new size properly. So make sure you factor in those adjustments before making the switch. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like and subscribe for more in-depth tire comparisons. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.